hi welcome to the programmers thinking from today i thought uh, i will start my video with one quotes so friends i have one quotes for you and let's go for it your thinking matters towards anything because you are unique so uh, now uh, let's start the topic today topic is about dynamic form using jquery so is form may we will create a dynamic form uh, with the help of jquery where we also use the jquery uh, validator format okay so in this video we'll uh, create a dynamic form in a simple way and also see logic to save dynamic form data into database then here uh, in this video i will also see the uh, logic way uh, through which we can save the dynamic form data which is in a uh, very complex manner so also we see the logic about the uh, saving data into database okay so uh, let's see the demo first okay uh, this is our form this is simple form uh, after adding uh, after clicking on add more you will uh, add more data dynamically okay so first i will show you my database content uh, here is only two records okay here is only two records and uh, after uh, filling form and saving into database uh, we are saving here okay uh, add more uh, next form we are also putting the con content and uh, after uh, clicking on submitting button okay the data is saved into database uh, i have no any uh, alert box uh, that will show the message okay then uh, the two data the two rows i have inserted from the form and the first one is raghavan prasad and the second one is mukesh prasad okay uh, these two these two data is saved into database uh, from dynamic form so let's see the code uh, for to implement this dynamic form uh, this is simple code uh, i am just uh, explaining to you uh, first uh, you are creating a form using bootstrap so uh, these uh, these are the uh, cdn which is used to create the form using bootstrap okay so and the, this one is used for uh, awesome uh, font awesome icons uh, which is used in uh, for delete uh, delete buttons or delete icons okay so this is uh, especially for the delete icons <coughs> and uh, these are the uh, plugins for bootstrap form or bootstrap okay so uh, this is first form which is so by default uh, if i will show you this is by default form uh, one row which is showing by default so uh, this is showing to you uh, the first one is uh, here you, you are saying that uh, this is input type hidden uh, which is used for total count here we are uh, creating this field uh, this input type to count the total uh, rows how many rows we are uh, sending to the database how many rows data we are sending to so this input type is used to count the total rows okay this is anchor tag which is contain the add more buttons okay this is contain the add more button and the name email city these are the fields uh, the important thing is that this is anchor tag anchor tag and here is the important thing is uh, in name you are saying this this is name attribute in all uh, input type we are using v name underscore one v email underscore one because uh, uh, in all forms this is the forms and when you click on add more the same field opens with the same name so uh, to avoid this conflict for the same name we use underscore one here underscore two underscore zero you can say you can put here anything so we'll just start from one so uh, i put here to one underscore one okay uh, this is the form which is add dynamically with the help of the script okay then what you have to do this is the simple form and uh, you will do that uh, this is script tag uh, where you are providing the id id uh, you can custom uh, you can put here anything okay type script inside uh, inside script tag you will put type attribute is text html okay and after that you will put your code here okay this is script tag ending here here the important thing is the name you will put here like this uh, this is just to uh, use a jquery format okay and also here we are using the jquery format so 
in name attribute you will use underscore uh, bra uh, curly braces uh, inside you are putting here zero if you are now putting anything here then it will take zero here okay <laughs> the important thing is that uh, this formulation div okay and here also we are putting formulation div then uh, see the uh, we are uh, will see the jquery code this is total count uh, by default we will put the value of total count is 2 okay this is total count 2 uh, if you say that uh, the count by default count should be 1 because the only one form data form row data is available by default but we are putting here 2 because uh, of uh, some logics we will see later okay uh, then come on jquery code the first we will uh, find the formulation count the value of count okay after clicking on add more button first we will uh, do jquery.validator.format uh, with the help of this uh, we are uh, we use this because of these things <coughs> because of this okay तो सबसे पहले हमने क्या किया यहाँ पे एक वेरिएबल में हमने क्या किया एक फॉर्म जे क्वेरी डॉट वेलीडेट डॉट फॉर्मेट ये हमने फॉर्म डेटा यहाँ पे ले लिया ओके दिस इज द फॉर्म डेटा आईडी क्या है वहाँ पे आईडी इज हिडन टेम्पलेट डॉट एस टी की हेल्प से हमने एक वेरिएबल में स्टोर कर लिया ठीक है इस पूरे पार्ट को इस वेरिएबल में हमने स्टोर कर लिया विद द होल स्क्रिप्ट दिस इज स्क्रिप्ट tag inside the script tag the whole data inside this we have a store stored inside the template okay then in template we are uh, we are uh, passing this parameter uh, which hold the con uh, total count okay after passing this parameter this parameter will put the value inside this okay the parameter value is insert inside the name attribute where uh, in uh, in place of 0 0 0 so uh, by default it will be 2 okay so yahan pe humne kya kiya in uh, template pe humne ye pass kar diya insert after kiske baad hum insert kara rahe hain formulation div to har ek div in each after div formulation div we will put the script hidden template form okay the form which is inside the script tag we will put so finally can we see where is the formulation div the for in first form is also there is formulation div class three okay uh, this is our whole form after this div we will put the next uh, script form and uh, we, when we add one script form after that the next script form also will add after this tag this formulation tag okay formulation div okay after this div the next jquery form will add after this okay so first we will uh, take all the form data inside a variable and in this uh, uh, in this we will pass the parameter and uh, put this all script form uh, script form inside after the formulation div tag at the last okay after that we will uh, increase the count of formulation count because the one form is added successfully and we will update the total count value okay input mm, this value will in increase the count of this value is increased after adding one form okay the next one is delete the form on click of the delete button okay this is our delete button at last I uh, will put here the delete button the class name is remove form okay after clicking on that what we are doing after clicking the form the uh, dollar this this button parent 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 three times we have putting the parents for what because this is our anchor tag uh, which reference to this okay which referred ref this refer to this anchor tag okay uh, the, the, the first parent is this the second parent is this and the third parent will be uh, the 
the third parent will be this first parent this is second parent and this is the third parent okay this is our third parent so it will remove from this okay so this is our code first one is uh, to add uh, one more form script and the second one this one is to delete the uh, script form okay then let's see next uh, uh, we will see how we are uh, storing into the database uh, the next is <coughs> here is our uh, controller control inside controller we have loaded the form okay simply loaded the form and uh, after clicking on submit button we are saving here data uh, first one i'll i'll see you the all things what we are going here okay so first we'll see what type of form data is coming here to save okay and this will also see and this the three things you will see here okay the three rows is uh, we are putting here the three rows total uh, so sub i'm submitting this uh, yeah, this is this is the raw data which are uh, 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 we will found inside the controller after submitting the form okay like this data you will find after submitting inside this okay then what will you do after getting the post data uh, like a raw data we will put inside a uh, loop uh, which is uh, just look like this uh, we, are, we are also passing we are also passing the total count here okay after passing total count uh, we are using this logic to convert inside uh, this logic uh, the logic of fls we, uh, we uh, what will tell this uh, this is for this logic is for when we are uh, here you see that uh, this is a continue one two three okay here is yes, coming the continue but what, what will you do if this is not in a continue manner that is uh, if one three then uh, in this situation what we'll do like this if you add this but you deleted this between second one is deleted and uh, after uh, putting these values what will you see this is one three okay this is the first array which which are uh, creating with the help of for loop and after using the array values we are creating this okay so this is the uh, this is the raw data which are uh, which have printed this uh, the PR PR I have defined the helper function inside a helper. This is PR where we are actually uh, doing the print uh, using the printer function. Okay. So first loop is for uh, creating the uh, uh, multi-dimensional array. Here we'll convert into multi-dimensional array. Okay. Here condition to check the coming post data is in continuous manner or not if this is not in continuous manner if not then increase total count value by one so that we can check for next post values okay the first array is printed uh, with uh, like this because we are uh, using the array from one okay key one with the help of here we are converting array key to start from zero with the help of array values function and after this we are using the insert batch and we are saving data into database okay so uh, one more next time we'll see how our form working okay uh, we'll see if we are deleting the uh, second rows okay in database 
prior to four values and now the six values total this is the uh, next two values we are storing into the database okay now friends how did you find this video let me know through commenting and if you have any query regarding this video please ask in comment box and if you have like if you like the video and to find updates for more videos please subscribe the channel thank you guys